Okay, welcome to uh, Country Roads Coin Roll Hunting. We're back for this second box of uh, $500 worth of halves. And uh, I do not see any enders. We're just checking for enders here. And I'm not seeing anything that looks like a, uh, a silver ender. So I'll examine these more closely and uh, flip them over. We'll take a look at the other side. Okay, welcome back to Country Roads Coin Roll Hunting. So I flipped all these uh, rolls of halves over and I'm not seeing anything that looks like it's silver. But that doesn't mean there's not any silver in the box. I did find this real interesting coin here on the end. Not sure exactly what that is. But we'll delve into that here in just a bit. Uh, but uh, at first glance... I don't see anything that looks like it. Uh, it's silver. Uh, they would be, you know, a real bright, almost white color if there was some silver on the enders there. So uh, we're just going to go through some of these rolls. And uh, I'm going to do this a little bit different than the last hunt. I'm not going to film or do quite as much footage. But I'm just going to break uh, back into it. Uh, if I find anything interesting. And then you guys can let me know uh, in the comments, uh, you know, what type of video you like. Whether you like the longer, more in-depth video or the quick, quick, just get to the results video. Alright, we'll talk at you here in just a bit. Hopefully we find some silver. Okay, we're back. And I just wanted to uh, take a look at these coins I found in the, uh, I think it's only my second roll, really. Um, and one of them was that Ender. It happens to be a coin from Panama. Um, and it's 2011. And you can clearly see on the edges that it's got copper in it. So we're not going to keep that. But we'll set it aside as an interesting find. Pretty interesting looking coin. And then we found... Uh, Two NIFCs, 2006 and a, uh, a 2009 uh, in that same role. This, whoops, sorry about that. This 2009 has uh, seen better days, so I don't know that we're going to keep it, but I thought I would just show you what we found here. All right, so on to the next roll. Okay, we're back. We're on our uh, seventh roll, and it looks like we actually may have hit pay dirt. I don't know. This could be fooling me, but uh, can you see the silver in that roll? I do believe we may have one here. So let's take a look live and see uh, see if that's what we have. Be awesome, wouldn't it? Let's hope so. Dixie. It'd be nice to hit some silver after that last box. This is looking pretty interesting. It looks like a 1964. All right. About time. Ninety percent. So that's awesome. In the seventh roll, a ninety percenter. I'll take it. Beautiful. It's got some awesome toning on it as well. Look at that thing. Really cool. Not that it's in great shape or anything, but it, it does have some beautiful toning on it. So awesome. We'll take it. Ninety percenter. Let's hope there's lots more. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. We're probably about 20 rolls into the box here. And uh, we still... Well, we haven't found any additional silver. We did find the, uh, the 64, which is sitting right there. The 90 percenter. But we've been finding a few NIFCs. And, uh, and we've been finding our fair share of 1972 Ds and 1982 Ps uh, to look at for the no FG. And here's a 1982P, and it is a no F. 
<laughs> the G is there. I'm gonna get it in here as close as I can and we'll see if the camera can focus on that. But uh, there's no F on this. There's a G, but no F. But of course you have to be missing both initials for it to be uh, a variety. So we'll toss this one in the bin and take it back to the bank. But thought I'd just show you that. I'll try to get in here real close if I can. Okay, we'll catch you here in just a little bit. Okay. We're back. We're uh, about halfway through the box there, as you can see. We found that uh, that one 90 percenter, 1964, and uh, quite a few NIFCs and that one uh, Panamanian coin. And I just thought I'd get a shot of what's for dinner tonight. Looks like we're going to have us a uh, bowl of uh, potato chips kettle cooked and a little bit of DP there so uh, that's the uh, the dinner of champions and coin roll hunters here in uh, country roads coin roll hunting in here in West Virginia so uh, we'll be talking at you uh, tomorrow evening we'll finish up this box have a good evening okay we're back welcome back to uh, country roads coin roll hunting and we're going to finish up this $500 box today. Um, we had some pretty good success last night. We found that uh, that one ninety percenter, if you remember. So that's better than the first box we did in the last video. So we'll take that. So let's uh, let's keep it rolling here. And we're going to go ahead and go. We're halfway through the box. We've got uh, looks like about twenty five more rolls to go. So um, we'll pick it up if we find anything interesting. We're looking for uh, silver, uh, 90 percenters, uh, 40 percenters, or um, any varieties we might find in any uh, NIFCs, uh, not intended for circulation uh, coins. So we'll come back uh, if we find anything good or interesting. See you in a bit. Okay, well that was a short time away. This is the first roll in the second half of the box. And it looks like we might have a 40%er there. If you can see that near the top of the roll. Looks like about the fifth fifth coin down. We'll see. It could be, it could be fooling me. But hopefully we've got a 40%er here. And this would be our second silver out of the box. I'll tell you what, when you find some silver in a box it really gets you fired up to uh, finish the box out so uh, let's see what we've got here hopefully it's a nice 40 percenter nope nope fooled me 1971 <laughs> daggone it well, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, and that one definitely fooled me. You can you can see there's definitely a uh, two two layers there, so you know one's the copper copper layer inside of there, and the other would be the uh, nickel and whatever else these coins are made up of, other than silver. So um, that one fooled me for sure, but hopefully there'll be some more silver in this box. So we'll. Uh, We'll check back here in a minute if we find something interesting. Okay, we're back. We've got, uh, looks like about 14 more rolls to go. And we haven't had any luck with any uh, silver since that 90% uh, or a while back. But we did have this coin. It's kind of interesting. It looks like it's an off-center strike, if you look at it here. And it's not a whole lot off-center. I mean, you know, I wouldn't say it's like 10% or anything like that. It's probably somewhere between, you know, 1 and 7 or 1 and 5% off-center. If you can see there, the, the date at the bottom is almost on the rim. And then if you look at the top of the coin, the rim uh, looks to be pretty uh, thick, if you will. So it's kind of a, an off-center strike. It's kind of a neat uh, neat error here. I don't know if it's off-center enough to keep or not. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
Um, let me know if you think this is enough of an off-center strike to keep or just take it back to the bank. I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are on that. And if you're liking the content, make sure that you're, uh, you uh, give me a big old like there, smash that like button, and uh, share the video, and, uh, and be sure to subscribe. We'll get back at it. We'll let you know if uh, anything else uh, interesting comes up. Okay, we're back. We've got uh, about three rolls left, and we've just about given up hope. Get to the chopper! We'll, we'll keep on hoping. Um, we did find this nice 1987. Uh, I don't know if they called it an NIFC back then or not, but it's a, a very low mintage coin. It's a 1987D, and it's in pretty good shape. So you always want to keep your 1987s if you find any of those. I, I don't know if they call them NIFC or not, but they're along the same uh, mintage level, uh, if you will. So you always want to keep your 1987s. That's a nice coin. So uh, we're striking out on the silver, but we're getting plenty of NIFCs. So uh, we'll finish up the box and uh, come back if we find anything interesting or uh, just come back for the wrap up okay here we are we're down to our last roll I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd do it live and we've had a lot of a lot of clad I'll just tell you it's been a it's been a clad bonanza in this box one silver and lots of clad so let's see what we've got in this last roll we're holding out hope and it's not looking good. Looks like another clad dad here. As I like to call him, a full roll of clad. So it looks like that's going to wrap it up. We'll, uh, we'll look through these uh, coins for uh, rotated dyers and whatnot. Uh, 1972, no initials, things like that. 1982, no initials, NAFCs. And then we'll uh, come back with a wrap up. Okay, here we are. We just finished the box. We wrapped it up. You can see it's empty. And here's uh, just a portion of the coins that are going back. I'll be back. Luckily, I don't have to roll those. I've got a dump bank that uh, counts them for me. So that saves a lot of time. So we went through, what, $500 here? So 1,000 coins. We found one silver. <laughs> That 19, that lone 1964 90%er. And then uh, we found it looks like uh, 20 NIFCs. And uh, some of those are in better condition than others. But I like, to, uh, I like to keep all the NIFCs. If there's some real scratched up ones, we'll throw those back. If they have any wheel marks or anything on them. And then uh, we have that foreign... I believe it was a Panamanian coin, so we'll toss it back. It's uh, it's pretty new. I think it was a 2011 or something, and it doesn't have any silver in it. And then we had uh, the off-center strike, and be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think about that, if it's worth keeping or not. And then also we had that 1987 D NIFC, if you will. So that's pretty much it for the wrap up here. Not a whole lot of silver, but you've got to persevere. And just finding that 190%er proves that there is silver still out there that you can find. Every box is a new treasure hunt, so uh, I really enjoy it even if I don't find a whole lot of silver. So uh, be sure if you like the, con the uh, content to uh, mash that like button for me, uh, share and subscribe. And let me know, if you will, uh, in the comments whether you like this, uh, this shorter format uh, $500 box hunt or the longer format where we go through uh, the rolls and do some time-lapse photography and whatnot. So uh, until next time, this is your host, Wild Bill, uh, here in West Virginia for uh, Country Roads Coin Roll Hunting, signing out. We'll see you next time.